Welcome to Card Player's Daily Deal. Today is Tuesday, April 10th, 2007. I'm Rich Belsky, and this is Lizzie Harrison. The winner of the 26th annual Irish Open is Martin Smythe. He won 550,000 euros for his first place finish in Ireland's largest tournament ever. The runner-up was Roland DeWolf, and he earned 275,000 euros. The Irish Poker Open had over 700 participants, and that built a total prize pool of over 2 million euros, another record for Ireland. Back here in Las Vegas, the Bellagio's five-star poker classic is going strong. So far, the preliminary events have had enormous turnouts, and very large sums of money have exchanged hands. The winner of event number two, which had a $2,000 buy-in began on Sunday, was Paul Lee from Pasadena, California. He won $206,795 for his victory over the 288-person field. The runner-up in event number two was Mohammed Ahmadine, and he earned almost $112,000 for his performance. The $2,500 tournament that started yesterday is down to its final 10 players. They will return at 3 o'clock p.m. Pacific time to battle it out for the first place prize. The chip leader in event number three is David Danishkar with $265,500 in chips. Other big names left in that tournament include card players' own COO, Jeff Schulman, Jared the Waco Kid Hamby, and JC Alvarado. At noon today, a $3,000 buy-in tournament, event number four, begins at the Bellagio. For more information on what's going on down on the Strip, check out CardPlayer.com's live updates. The annual National Heads Up Poker Championship recently aired the premiere episode of Season 3 on NBC, and the ratings are very promising. The episode that just aired earned a 1.7 overall rating, which means that 5% of people in the United States watching television when it was on were watching it. That's up 15% from last year. The first episode of the 2007 National Heads Up Poker Championship featured two first-round matches. Jamie Gold defeated Jennifer Tilly and Mike Matasso defeated Daniel Negreanu. New episodes of the NBC Heads Up Championship are on every Sunday at noon. A new video game based on the tournament, M NBC Heads Up, was released simultaneously and a demo can be found at NBCHeadsUp.com. 2005 World Series of Poker main event champion Joseph Hashem has revealed that he has had to relocate his family in order to protect them. He reportedly told the press that the home in Melbourne, Australia, where they formerly resided, was constantly plagued by threatening telephone calls and letters since he became a millionaire. Hashem has moved his wife and four adolescent children to a new private address with unlisted telephone numbers. Hashem said that he will not gamble with his family's safety and will protect them to the best of his ability. Hashem's huge win changed his life, though he has said that initially he did not expect it to. However, he now admits that there is nothing normal about his life these days, and his re recent sudden move to an undisclosed location reinforces that statement. The United States is reinforcing their effort to rid America of online gaming. Recently, our government extradited the founder of Bet On Sports, Gary Kaplan, from the Dominican Republic. He is currently in Puerto Rico pending his travel back to the United States. Kaplan has been charged with 22 counts connected to Bet On Sports bookkeeping. Kaplan was denied bail when he requested it at his first hearing in the Dominican Republic, though when he arrives in St. Louis, he is expected to ask for it again. Kaplan will probably not have his request granted, as he has been on the international wanted list due to his alleged tax evasion for quite some time. Bet on Sports continues to be fined $10,000 per day by the United States government for every day that their executives do not surrender themselves. Still absent from the United States are Norm Steinberg, who is a citizen of Costa Rica, and Peter Wilson, who's wearing Whereabouts are unknown. The end of April is quickly approaching, and that means a trip to the Playboy Mansion. As we've previously reported, Card Player is co sponsoring the Urban Health Institute's second annual celebrity poker tournament. UHI will hold this star studded event on the hallowed grounds of the Playboy Mansion. Slated to attend this event are poker players Phil Locke, Andy Black, Steve Dannemann, and Jennifer Tilly, as well as celebrities Shannon Elizabeth, Nick Carter, and Anthony Anderson, just to name a few. Players will vie for a first place prize of two seats to the World Series of Poker main event, along with airfare and hotel accommodations included. Second prize is two tickets to the U.S. Open Golf Tournament with hotel and car service included. And third place prize is a 55-inch flat screen television. For more information or to view an invite and register for this event, call Yvette at 323-291-6700 or visit www.uhinstitute.org. Thank you for watching Card Player's Daily Deal for your daily dose of poker news. I'm Lizzie Harrison. And I'm Rich Belsky for Card Player TV.